Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Alessandra and I do mostly unboxing and some tutorials. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing the Softflex Company uh, Design Challenge Kit. Now this is a kit that comes once a month and it's not a subscription. So you have to buy each kit separately until they run out. You should be able to get it. Now at the time I'm filming this, there are still about 15% of their kits left. I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, however, I am um, unboxing this a week early from their release uh, date of the opening. They do ask everyone not to open the kits until the last Wednesday, I believe, of the month. So this month is going to be May 31st uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Uh, they're going to open this, and this is probably when I'm going to be releasing this around the same time. So you can watch their un unboxing or mine. Um, they go ahead and do a... Um, usually a jewelry challenge right away uh it's usually either sarah um i think it's sarah that mainly does those and she designs on the spot she does live video so you can head to the soft flats channel um they do also have a facebook group where you can post uh the designs that you make with each kit and you can win the next kit for free and i think uh, the winner is selected at random uh, so you can do that if you'd like uh, but let's just go ahead and open this kit and see what's inside i'm really curious Okay, and the theme of this kids this month is under the sea. Uh, so it's definitely, uh, you know, beach related, sea related. And they do come with a uh, list that they give you uh, to follow along. So we'll try to find these and see what's inside of each. And as always, I'm going to get close to the camera so you can see the beads better. Okay, the great thing about the kits is that it always comes with a beading wire. This time we get one in the turquoise colors and it is usually the medium size. So this is usually a beading, straight stringing kind of, you know, um, setup. It's not usually for bead weaving or anything like that, but I think these are lovely. I love collecting these. Um, I love their beading wire. It's probably the best beading, beading wire on the market. I have the basic uh, silver gray that you get, and then I have a ton of colors from this kit. So this is a good way to uh, collect these kits because the kits run around between 32 and $35 um, plus shipping. So this alone is like, I think almost $10. So there you go. That's like a third of the kit already. And they always include their crimp beads, which are really fabulous. These are very strong crimp beads. Uh, so they went ahead and included this. So you get these, so you can work with the wire straight away. In the box, we also get some Tiercast charms. They're like little starfish. Look how cute these are. And also an adorable button from Tiercast. You can see this little um, hoop in the back. And it's a silver, pla silver plated scallop shell button. Then we also get this adorable ceramic dolphin. Look at that. He's so detailed and so cute. I just really love him. Look at the belly. It's white. Very adorable. Then we get a generous amount of 40 millimeter aqua blue check glass seashell beads. And they are drilled to the side, as you can see on the top. Uh, so they're like little scallop shells in aqua. Very cute. Then we also get some check fire polished. Um, and these are also a aqua color. Uh, I don't know the size, but I would assume because it didn't include it. It's about maybe six millimeters, I would think. So you get some of these like a probably a half strand or so. We also get some beautiful check rondelle beads that are faceted. And this is our call 9 by 6 millimeter turquoise purple swirl check glass gem cut rondelles. So yeah, this be beautiful color. It has a little bit of brown black uh, added to it to give it a little bit more texture. We also get this beautiful swirly um, kind of satiny beads that are flat. And they're uh, in a flat diamond shape and they're turquoise. Of course, they're check as well. Very pretty. Then we get these nice large cobalt blue beads. They call them blue check glass simple cuts and they're 12 millimeter by 11. So pretty nice and big. Very pretty. Look at those facets. And then we get to the fun part. We get the design elements from Jesse James beads. Jesse James makes uh, these beads specifically uh, mixed for the soft flex kits. So you're not going to be able to find these on the Jesse James website. It's only on the soft flex website. Usually, um, after they open the box, they make this available to buy loosely if you want to, if you don't want to buy the whole kit, but you like the Jesse James beads. 
you can go on SoftFlex and just get this. And I think they run around between ten and twelve dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Or I guess it depends on you know what they put in it. But so I don't want to tell you wrong. But let's just open it up and see what's inside. And what I usually like to do with these mixes is just kind of group the colors that are similar together so I can get a better idea of what I have available to me. So we have some beautiful aquas right here. So we have some large rondelles, some teeny little cute flowers, and uh, some tassels. I'll be honest with you, the tassels usually don't excite me that much. Um, usually I like silk tassels, rarely I like cotton tassels, but, you know, maybe I'll use them. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, then we get some emeralds. Uh, and it looks like almost chandelier parts, don't they? Uh, and then we get also two beautiful little hearts right there. So for these chandelier beads that are like a green emerald and this beautiful little, you know, uh, heart beads. Very cute. We also get some dark teals. We get these Baroque pendants, crystal Baroque pendants. Once again, that chandelier style. And then we get these ceramic, more uh, gritty and earthy beads. Very cute. We get some deeper blues. We get a couple of little flowers that almost look like a little anemone flowers um, with the sea. I think maybe that's where they were trying to do. And then we have some metallic dark blues with a little bit of a purple sheen, bicones, and these two cylinder beads. We also get some gold for the metal. So we get about four uh, flower little bead caps and we get some shells that are side drills. So it's like right there, there's the hole. These are actually kind of hefty, so uh, they're very, very pretty and they would go well with probably more statement piece. Finally, in the Jesse James bead mix, we get some silvers. I also included this uh, white wash with silver beads on top of all the other things. We get like a cute little or two cute little uh, sea stars right there. And then the rest are bead caps and beads that are silver as well. There you go, you guys. This is the whole uh, kit, and I like to put it in these little plastic containers that I get from the Dollar Tree. They're only $1.25. I have several of them. You'll find it in the tool departments if you're interested. They usually have plenty of them, uh, and I like them for these kits, and I like them for my smaller projects as well as storing other small uh, beads or findings. Um, but yeah, this is the whole thing. I'm going to be playing with it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. If I can come up with something, I'll either show you what I came up with uh, in the next sequence, maybe on this video, or if I decide to do a tutorial, I might hold off. Um, but uh, yeah, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. I enjoy opening these boxes with you. I hope that you can get some ideas if you want to get the same boxes or maybe use beads that are similar. You could also go through your stash and see if you have similar beads and you can follow along with Softflex or me or any other creators on the YouTube uh, world, let's say. But uh, I'll see you next time. And as always, I wish you a lot of happy crafting time. Bye, guys.